Some Kind of Wonderful is a 1987 American romantic drama film directed by Howard Deutsch and starring Eric Stoltz, Mary Stuart Masterson, and Lee Thompson. It is one of several successful teen dramas written by John Hughes in the 1980s. Plot <inaudible> 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 The film is set against the strict social hierarchy of an American public high school in suburban Los Angeles. Blue collar mechanic Keith Nelson, Eric Stoltz, and his tomboyish friend Watts, Mary Stewart Masterson, who has been subjected to vicious rumors that she is a lesbian, aspire to improve their social standing. When Keith asks out the most popular and attractive girl in school, Amanda Jones Lee Thompson, Watts realizes her feelings for him are much deeper. Watts tells Keith that Amanda will appreciate a good kisser, and shows Keith how to kiss. He later uses his college fund, with Watts in tow, and selects a pair of earrings for Amanda. Meanwhile, Hardy Jens Craig Sheffer, Amanda's narcissistic ex-boyfriend from a wealthy neighborhood, plots trouble for Keith by inviting him and Amanda to a party after their date. Hardy jealously plans to have Keith beaten up. Keith finds out about the plot, believing Amanda to be part of it, but goes ahead with the date anyway, spending the rest of his college money on an expensive dinner and roping in Watts as chauffeur to help make the date special. At Jens's party, the timely arrival of other misfits saves Keith from taking a beating. Keith also tells Jens off by reminding him that no matter what happens that his narcissism and vindictive ways have done nothing but prove what an insecure and pathetic person he really is and he feels nothing but pity for him because of it. Keith tells Jens he is over, and Amanda slaps Jens's face. In the end, Amanda decides that she needs to learn to stand on her own, find out who she is and make real friends. She returns the earrings that Keith gave to her. Keith, pleased with the result, and realizing that he is in love with his best friend, bids Amanda goodbye with a kiss on the cheek, after she urges him to go after Watts. Keith catches up to Watts and they kiss, whereupon Keith confesses to Watts that he had no idea how she really felt about him. Keith then gives Watts the earrings after she admitted that she wanted them the whole time, and Keith jokes that Watts knew she was going to get them, and she says that she hoped but that she didn't know. Watts asks Keith how they look, and he replies, You look good wearing my future. Topic. Cast Eric Stoltz as Keith Nelson Mary Stuart Masterson as Watts Lee Thompson as Amanda Jones Craig Sheffer as Hardy Jens John Ashton as Cliff Nelson Elias Koteas as Duncan Molly Hagen as Shane Maddie Corman as Laura Nelson Jane Elliott as Carol Nelson Candace Cameron as Cindy Nelson Chinna Phillips as Mia Scott Coffey as Ray Carmine Caridi as Museum Guard Lee Garlington as Gym Instructor Pamela Anderson as Party Guest Production Hughes was personally not happy with the ending of Pretty in Pink 1986. .In the script and the original cut of the film Andy Molly Ringwald wound up with her best friend Ducky John Cryer. However test audiences disliked it and so a new ending was shot where Andy wound up with Blaine Andrew McCarthy. Hughes was always unhappy with this version, which led to a falling out with Pink's director, Howard Deutsch. Hughes decided to retell the story, only to change the sexes around. Hughes named the three main protagonists as an inside joke tribute to the Rolling Stones. Howard Deutsch was the original director. He wanted to cast Michael J. Fox in the lead, but Fox turned it down. 
Deutsch left the project, Martha Coolidge was signed to direct. Hughes wanted Molly Ringwald to play the female lead role of Amanda, but she declined in order to pursue more adult roles. Hughes took it personally and this led to the end of their working relationship. Lee Thompson also turned down the part. The role was given to Kim Delaney. Coolidge cast Eric Stoltz as Keith, Mary Stuart Masterson as Watts, and Kyle MacLachlan as Hardy Jens. Pretty in Pink was released and became a big hit. Hughes fired Delaney, MacLachlan, and director Coolidge and hired Deutsch to direct. Thompson was offered the role of Jones again. By this time, the Thompson starring Howard the Duck had spectacularly flopped and she agreed to play the role. The film was shot in Los Angeles in the summer of 1986. Locations include San Pedro High School, Hancock Park, and the Hollywood Bowl. Reception Rotten Tomatoes gives the film an 81% critic rating based on 36 reviews. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times praised the film, calling it worthwhile and entertaining. Janet Maslin of the New York Times stated that Some Kind of Wonderful is the "...much improved, recycled version of the pretty in pink story." Richard Schickel of Time, however, criticized the film for being unrealistic. Masterson's performance was singled out for praise by several critics. <laughs> <laughs> Soundtrack Do Anything — Pete Shelley Brilliant Mind — Furniture Cry Like This Blue Room. I Go Crazy. Flesh for Lulu. She Loves Me. Stephen Duffy. The Hardest Walk. The Jesus and Mary Chain. The Shyest Time. The Apartments. Miss Amanda Jones. The March Violets. Can't Help Falling in Love. Lick the Tins. Turn to the sky. The March Violets. Equals equals see also.